Peraí! We have talked about this before! Literally two seconds ago because we messed up the first take. But again, we are here and we're going to talk about if you're always getting tight quads and you find that foam rolling them all the time, you feel addicted to having the foam rolling all the time, what can we do about it? We can sit like this. Jenny's fixed it. Look at that. See you later, guys. So from here, what we're going to do is sit in this position. Make this comfortable. If this feels really, really tight to you, get a pillow under yourself and start to work yourself down into it and be able to rock yourself side to side in this position. Eventually as well, then you want to be able to start to lean yourself back as well. You can lift the hips up, you can squeeze the bum, and bring yourself back down again. Make this position comfortable. Open up your legs fully. So if Jenny hops up for a second for me and just does a squat for me, so from the side, she turns to the side, she does a squat. Any of the movements that you're doing, you're probably not getting that full stretch. You're not fully opening the quads up. And if everything you're doing, like running and squatting and deadlifting, the legs are always in a fixed position. So what we want to then do from there is add more multi-directional movement into our training. So a nice way to do that is just throw this into your warm-ups. Throw it into your cool downs. It doesn't need to be a big multi-directional lunge day, but it's a great thing to add for assistance. So Jenny is going to lunge herself back, first of all. So just your standard lunge. And she brings herself up, and then she's going to bring her foot off at a diagonal angle. Brings herself back down, so she's actually moving the quad in those different ways that it can move, and then she goes straight across herself. If you suck at lunges, hold on to something as you do this for your first sets. Build up that strength, build up multi-directional strength. Both legs. There we go. These are things that you want to be doing in order to build more strength into your hips and open up the quads in those different ways. And it's really, really important to avoid knee pain if you get that tugging in the knees as well. These are really important things to do. And if you find that whenever you're trying to lunge, you're falling all over the place, really focus on the feet as well. Your feet are really important. As you go into a lunge, really grab the ground with your toes. And that is what we do about tight quads. Okay guys?